Princess. Say thank you. Welcome back. 823. I heard about this lady yesterday and said we've got to get her on good day this morning. This is Marilyn White. She has logged more volunteer hours than anyone at Parkland Hospital. 11,275 hours to be exact. That's a lot of hours. Good morning. Well, I'm a little old lady, so <laughs> I've had plenty of time. No, you really have stepped up. I mean, definitely more than, than most people have. So, so don't don't be humble here. <laughs> okay. Now, now you say jokingly that you practice medicine without a license, but basically you said that you've made it your mission to try to lift up the spirits of people at Parkland. Well, hugs are free, and hugs help sick and well people. So that's what I do. But my kisses are the important part of my ministry. Yeah, I heard about that. You pass out these like signature chocolate kisses. That's kind of your signature there. And, and that you pass them out. When, when did you start volunteering? Um, 1979. Okay. And, and then why? why? Uh, because I came to see a friend who was there and I just thought this is a fabulous place. I want to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. When I was a little girl, I wanted to be a doctor. And in those days, it was really difficult for a woman to be a doctor. So right. I got a degree in mathematics, worked at TI, mm -hmm. retired, found Parkland, and it's been my mission. You volunteer mostly Mondays and Thursdays, right? Correct. And, and I heard that you volunteer. Volunteers usually not allowed in some of the critical care areas, but uh, you've been allowed for years because people say you simply fit there. You, you, you are what is needed for those families that are there at such a tough time. How does that make you feel to know that uh, they hold you in such high regards? Well, it makes me think I need to get back there as soon as this show is over <laughs> and, and show my appreciation. Uh, I, that place fills my heart. When I started, I started because I wanted to help patients, and quickly I learned I wanted to help the staff. The staff at Parkland is amazing, and they don't get enough thanks and appreciation, so I think it's my job to thank them. You walked in here and I said, thank you for the work that you've done, and you said, no, 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 I I'm getting something. I mean, you get a lot out of this, oh, too. Oh, yes. I missed last week, and I was just in a funk, mm. so I had to hurry and get back on Monday. You don't miss a lot of days, though, I heard. <laughs> I heard the only time you miss is if there's something longhorned at Texas, University uh, well, of Texas. Well, I, <laughs> I do have a southern draw, and, <laughs> but then I get back, so I'm really blessed to have UT and Parkland in my life. Now, I know for us doing the news, there are days where we just have news that's uh, yeah, tough news days where there's a lot of bad stories that are going on and it, it, it's hard to not let it get you down. You run into, in, into tough situations all the time. You see people at, really at you know, some of the worst times of their yeah. lives. Does that get you down at all or how do, you, how do you turn that around? No, it makes me grateful because I mm -hmm. can thank the staff that helped the people through it. And I never leave there that I'm not just counting my blessings and mm -hmm. so grateful for health. Yeah, for people who think, I don't need to volunteer, everything's good, Parkland, Parkland's running itself, I don't need to volunteer, all these other hospitals are fine, but what do you say to those people? I would say that, come on out, we can use you. <laughs> Just Monday, we needed some people to help pass out cookies and chemo, and there were no extra volunteers, so we really? can always use more volunteers. Oh, nice to hear that. In fact, when I leave, I'm going to be training four students today to start volunteering in the ER. Really? So you even try to train those that come in? Oh, sure. For the ER. Yeah. yeah. I bet they can learn a lot from you, huh? What's the number? What's the most important thing that you're going to tell them? Be kind. Yeah. It goes a long way. It does. It does. Yeah. yeah. Just be kind and thoughtful and realize that people that are there are suffering. Yeah, no doubt. Thank you for bringing the kisses in, too. Oh, my honor. <laughs> and, and shouldn't I Do give I you get one? one? You I better do get, get one. one. The yes. special Maryland White kiss. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming oh, in. We appreciate it's an honor. it. And again, thank you for the work you do. Oh, my Merry, pleasure. Merry Christmas. And to you. Coming